Welcome to the video, another early morning, another session in the empty gym, another week of the Road to Dunking series and uh, back at this gym right here. And we've got that 9-6 hoop, been real, real busy. Um, personal life wise, just uh, got a lot of stuff going on. So haven't really been able to uh, train in the gym uh, consistently. So that could either be a good thing or a bad thing. So either the, today the body's gonna be super well rested or it's gonna be um, a little bit kind of out of sync. So let's see how we go. I got about 30, 40 minutes to put in a jump session. I'm gonna get a warm up in right now. And uh, I'm just gonna freestyle this one. I don't know if I'm gonna go off the dribble, lob, small ball, big ball. Let's get it. So, just landed one or two off the dribble dunks, lobs, and I'm feeling that great. Um, so I think I'm gonna land a couple more off the dribble dunks, try to get a PB this morning, and um, just practice that dunking motion. And then if I got time, I'll go back to lobs. Three straight, and I got like four or five in total this morning. I'm gonna try to get a couple more, maybe try to get the ten. Let's go. Yo, I just made it home, and man, all right, so that was probably, definitively my best dunk session ever, okay? I was dunking a size seven ball on the nine six hoop pretty much at will. So obviously I wasn't making every dunk, but every dunk I went up, I felt like I was able to dunk it. And I guess it's not a surprise because my vertical has increased. Um, and the biggest change honestly today was it was a proper size ball, proper weight, but it was one of those grippy outdoor ones and I was able to palm it very comfortably. So because I was able to palm it quite comfortably, um, I could go off the dribble and it wouldn't slip out of my hand um, and I was able to throw it down. So really, really happy with that. And man, I'm starting to think if like off the dribble with a grippy ball is 
the way to go for me to get my first dunk because like honestly I've been working on lobs for you know it's like half a year more than half a year now um I haven't been super super consistent but like there's something about it that really throws me off um because of all the th different moving pieces I just can't get max intent like I know my footwork goes to crap um I'm definitely not jumping my max height even though I don't have a ball um and then I got a catch and finish and I'm wondering if the time it'll take me to actually get better at these things versus if I just use a grippy ball and just get my vertical up um, and I'll jump lower off the dribble but it'll be, at least be consistent and I'll be able to go max intent every time which means I'll be able to make that gradual progress I'm kind of just trying to weigh up the two now let me know in the comments what you think because I'm definitely leaning towards well, obviously I just did a lot better with off the dribble like I tried lobbing for a while uh, probably the same amount of time as I did off the dribble and I didn't land a single one and this was off a grippy ball um, like the, my lob technique is getting better but like it's just something's just not connecting and off the dribble wise it is so I think next week I'm gonna go to the other side of the court which has the higher hoop that hoop is like 9-9 maybe and I'm gonna try uh, get a dunk with the grippy full size ball on that side and if I can get that I'm like pretty damn close so um, that'll be my next goal and let's keep grinding thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one